All right, so we have this bison, okay, housetutorials.net slash Z Flea Market. He's in the animals side shots of animals. Okay, and we're going to copy this image. Uh, new, okay, and then edit paste. Now, this is a pretty low res image, okay? So, I guess it'll take a lot less taxing in the system, I guess. Here, I also have some steel somewhere. Metal, there we go. All kinds of metal. I like this, this right here. I use this one all the time. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it in here. And you can see that the metal is way higher res than the bison. Okay. Which is fine. I'm just going to shrink up this metal a little bit and then hit the move tool to apply that. And I'm going to go in here and just cut a section of it out. So if I want to see the bison, all I do is have to turn it to either multiply or screen or soft light. Okay. So I'm going to start with something that just matches kind of the head of this animal. And then I can get rid of all this other stuff. But I'll probably be pasting another section of it in later. Okay. Then I could turn this back to maybe a multiply. And then I could see chunks that are in lighter areas. And what I'm doing is trying to closely match his head. And then go back to normal. Okay. Okay, now what I like to do is let's say I put it back on multiply and go in here and warp this image around. So edit, transform, warp. So with this on, what I really do is try to squish this up. Just like that. And then I'm going to go in here to the eye and take and cut that out. And maybe cut this nose area out a little bit. Okay, when I turn that back to normal, you're going to see this. And I'm just cutting around stuff. And if I mess up at all, I can go back in to liquefy, show backdrop. And it allows me to tweak it even further if I wanted to. So I can use this warp command here to warp it out and then push it back in. And I'm just kind of liquefying the effect in. Notice the liquefy really does ruin the resolution, however. So you might, sometimes you can get away with that, sometimes you can't. So now I get this piece of 
plate over the um, bison. What I have to do now is just hold command and click in this area and I can shade this up a little bit. And I'll shade it using stuff within already the picture. So, so a very low opacity black or brownish black and I can go in here and shade that in and a little bit lower opacity and I can hit like this one side to make it look more round So I'm just kind of manipulating this around to best represent the shape. And apply. So now with just a little bit of shading, you have an armor plate. Very formidable. Very. Because if I saw a bison with an armor plate on his head, I think I would run. So you can make all kinds of armor pieces just with that trick. Uh, I know it's kind of a cheap trick as an artist. Uh, usually I hand paint some of that stuff in, but as a classroom, oh, they love this stuff. So uh, armoring up an animal or a person for that matter. Please move on to the next video.